Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the In Combat Painting Mecca's book from Ammo of MIG and we'll also be doing a brief overview of the new paint sets that have come out to accompany the book. So what we'll do, we'll take a look at the paint sets that have come out first of all. The first paint set is a set of six acrylic colours and they're absolutely perfect to use on an RX78 which is one of the featured tutorials in the book. Uh, so, so you've got yellow, red, medium blue, cold grey, light brain for grey and medium gunship grey. And as I, I just said a moment ago, it's absolutely perfect scheme to follow along with an RX78 but obviously you could use them on uh, another gunplay kit and, and follow the colour scheme there. And They've also brought out two uh, new sets, one concerning chipping and one for weathering. So in the chipping set, we get some chipping fluid. We also get some engine fuel and oil, where, which is an enamel, and also get an acrylic paint there, which is for chipping, which is a, a dark rusty color. And in the weathering set, we get a filter, uh, brown for white, some streaking grime and some dark earth which is a, a pigment. Now I can't really review the paints at the moment because I've not had a chance to use them but I've got an RX78 3.0 that I've built um, some time ago but I haven't actually painted it so what I'm going to be doing is after I've finished uh, working on my Dark Angels army is just going over the built uh, 3.0 that I've got and I'll be using all the techniques from the book uh, and I'll be showing you what that looks like in, in a few months hopefully. Uh, so what we'll do now, we'll uh, take a, a look at the book. Okay, the first thing that stru struck me uh, as soon as I got the book was an absolutely stunning photography. Um, even on the front page of the book of an RX-78 uh, legs all weathered up looking uh, pretty distressed there and, and, and fantastic. So as we take a look inside the book, we can see that there's many steps that are followed through in the book. If we go there, and it goes literally um, from the photography um, with uh, steps to follow all the way through to get the overall result that you can see there of the the before and the after. And that weathering is absolutely phenomenal. The second. Uh, bill concerns a gun tank and this wasn't on my radar at all this kit I didn't even I wasn't even aware of it but uh, after seeing the stunning work that's uh, done in this book in, in the tutorial I'll definitely be picking up uh, the gun tank at some point and there's some really cool products used on the tracks to get them uh, to look like that which I wasn't aware of as well which I will be purchasing uh, and I'll be using it in future on my, on my uh, tank uh, treads and, and, and runners and that sort of thing there so that's stunning also I'm sure that decal there is used from a, a Space Marine sheet, so nice use of that there if I'm correct. And the next um, is concerned with the GGOC, so a nice little tutorial there on that and colour modulation on that's done in. And the last kit uh, it's concerning, I think it's like a garage kit, uh, I mean, I've never seen this before. But again, um, how to get the weathering done on this uh, kit that's featured in the book is absolutely stunning. Uh, it really is there. And we can see some more artwork of it completed there. Uh, and the last uh, portion of the book is dedicated to a gallery of some of the uh, amazing kits that have been built and, and painted. So, um, if I'm going to review the, the, the book, we'll go over uh, some of the pros and, uh, and negatives of, of the book. So let's get the negative out of the way uh, first of all. So there is a few uh, grammatical errors in the book and a few spelling mistakes, but nothing that's going to uh, spoil your enjoyment of the book uh, at all there. Also, if you've been painting and weathering for a very long time, a lot of the techniques in the book you may be already aware of. But even so, um, I've been weathering for a while. There's a lot of things that I've picked up before that I wasn't aware of that I'll definitely be using in future on my uh, kits. So uh, that's fantastic. The pros is the photography is absolutely stunning. Um, it really gets you in close to the model when um, it's going over the, the techniques and how to actually achieve 
the uh, chipping and the streaking in the book it's it's wonderful i mean if you wanted to use this as a, a coffee table book just for the photography alone uh, i don't see why why you wouldn't want to do that either and the, the guides for the four different uh, kits that I worked on in here are absolutely fantastic and the colour schemes that have been used are, are stunning and like I say I'll definitely be picking up a gun tank and I will be using um, the techniques from the books on my own uh, RX78 3.0 so uh, let me know what you think of the book guys um, put a comment in the comments uh, field down below and also I'll be putting a link in the description box uh, to Ammo of MIG's website so you can go and check out the, the book and the paints themselves and like I say uh, the books are huge uh, thumbs up from me I will be using a lot of uh, the techniques that I've um, picked up from the book on, on my future kits and not just gunpla kits a lot of these techniques are universal to work on other things uh, uh, like tanks uh, and so on so yeah, um, I'm going to finish it here guys, uh, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, share it amongst friends and I'll catch you in the next one.